Tata na game monitor. Okay. So Good afternoon. Um the the order of the presentation will be as follows. Um the leader or whoever is the leader between the two of you will present the topic and the members and then uh, after this uh, I would encourage everyone to throw in questions so you understand the concept of economic globalization. Um, Neil, if you are ready, please uh, start. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. With a prayer. Okay, sir. So, in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. So, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Mary, hope or see it as wisdom. Pray for us. Okay, good afternoon everyone. So our topic is economic globalization. So our reference is a book which is The Contemporary World by Alessandro E. Claudio and Patricio N. Abinala. So first is the objective. So our objective is based on our reference. So first is how economic globalization came about. And second is how economic globalization assess this globalization system. And the third is examine who benefits from it and who's, who is left out. So first, so international trading system. So we know that the oldest known or international trading system was a Silk Road. So it is a network of path in a in the ancient world that's spanned from China. So Monik in Aung Han Dao, so it, it is 130, 130 BCE to 1453 BCE when Han Dynasty trade to West. So and Kwan, Nahuman or it it was closed by Ottoman Empire. So it is the most profitable products and also Silk Road, although Silk Road is international trading system, but it is not or truly global. So according to our uh, the historian, so according to the historian Dennis of Plain and Arturo Heraldes, so nagikan ko ni ang economic globalization sa koan ko no, where it start popular a population ko no sa continents to began to exchange product continuously both with each other direct and indirect so according to them on 1576 galleon trade was the first was the first masyikin aunhan ko no nga globalization sa economic so which is manila trade I was Manila, which is the Philippines, connected to Acapulco. So, in this in this era, or in this century, it is the mercantilism, which is 16th to 18th century. So, Galleon trade was part of it. And that time, kuno kay, karang, ang mga koan dito, ang mga mang trade, or mang ano, mga products is competitive. So, kana kana sila kay they always kanang compete para sa ilang nation para mo boost or mo grow ang ilang nations. So, this kani siya gitawag ni siya monetary reserves later on. So, sayop na ang spelling nako. <laughs> monetary reserves later on ang tawag niya. So, thus mercantilism system of global with multiple restriction. So, mo, ang ubang kanang mga na may mga uban nga barato ra kayo ang mga cost sa ilang ipang baligya so naghimo sa restrictions so ang nakauna ni kay ang mga kuan monarch monarchy country so mga monarchy country kay naghimo sila og kanang tariff specifically mga high tariffs so mao gitawag ni siya og kuan mercantilism system of global with multiple restrictions so because of this on 1867 an international monetary conference in Paris was made. 
So it was led by UK, US, and European nations. So, so first is they create system that allows more efficient trade and prevent isolation of the mercantilist era. And also adopt gold standard, establish common basis for currencies, prices, and fixed exchange rate system. So, kaning koan, kaning conference ah, sa Paris kay mo nilang gihimo, which is nagimo sila gold standard. Mo kaning gold standard kay mo nishya ang murag basis ilang currencies og sa fixed exchange rate system. So, gold standard thus restrictive from globalizing trade. So, mo kanis sa so nagimo na jud nagahimo na jud sila og kanang policies nga ang gold standard na jud lang ikuan. So after the after the World War 1, returning to pure standards become more difficult so na so nahimo din siya ko and ay nahimo din siya og paghuman kuno sa World War 1, niabot ko ni ang Great Depression which is 1920 to 1930. So ang kuan ni tungod kuno ni sa gold standard because it limit amounts of circulating money which is reduced demanding and consumptions. So according to economic historian which is Barry Inchin Green para maka recover kuno ang kuan kuno ang economy ko no kay muhawa ko na sa go ang um, muhawa ko sa gold standard so in 1970s indirect versions of gold standard were used so gamay na lang so mga indirect na lang ang mga kuan so on, and in 20th century gold standard never turned so mo na to pag 12th century so ni hawa na jud siya so and today world economy operates based on fiat currencies determined by their cost relative to other countries so karon kuno kay nagamit ta fiat which is para maka determine para sa tong currency so these systems allows freely and actively manage their economies by increasing or decreasing the amount of money in circulation so man is yeah so the next is kay to ato na hitabo tong great depression great depression so naabot na ang kuan Natin sa the Bretton Woods system. So it is a system was interviewed during the United Nations Monetary and Financial Conference to prevent catastrophes of early decades of the centuries from recurring and affecting international ties. So because of the um, World War One nga naitabo pag ato, so kailangan sila himo sa sila og bago nga kanang systems which economic system which para ma makuan ma madili na to mausab ang nahitabo sa una so nasa lagi himo nga duha ka kuan nasa lagi himo so on first kay international bank for reconstruction and development or the world bank so responsible ni siya for funding post war reconstruction project so that so kung that time so liso jud ni siya kay namtay badagan king na kuan nga country tungod sa world war so second is International Monetary Fund or IMF, which is the lender of the last resort to prevent individual countries from credit crisis. So mga na mga problema sa kwarta, kana mga crisis sa kwarta, so pwede tamhulam sa IMF. So and also in 1947, Britain Woods, in Britain Woods, naghimo sa sila o GATT which is the general agreement of tariffs and trade, which is ang purpose niya para ma-reduce ang tariffs and other hindrances to free trade. So, naging mo sila gat para ma-reduce kuno ang tariffs or mga taxes kuno or para ma-free ang trade. Ane. So, there yung tasa kan. Next is neoliberal, neoliberalism and its discontent. So, first is on 1940s to 1970s government poured money into their economies so according to this theory the Keynesian, Keynesian theory as price increase companies would earn more and would more money to hire 
workers and believe this necessary trade off for economic development so money money lang gisunod nga kuan nga system or theory which is naghimo sila kang key ki, ki nation but however on 1970 the prices of oil rose sharply as a result of organization of arab arab petroleum exporting countries or the opec so so this arab so used the embargo to stabilize their economies and growth so embargo gali kay kanang Maragiba nila ang Osaka country nga uh, diyan sila mo export dira uh, lugar nya yeah, data ang kaning time ma kay sila man ang nagkuan sa oil sila ang pirada kong manufacturing sa oil which is oil embargo affected the uh, western economies that were reliant on oil so mao to so on 1973 to 1974 the stock market was crushed and also it is because of cold stagflation so wala sad sila nakabaw ani or what this sad sila naka predict nga ang kuan ko ang nasa dire stagflation nga maabot which is kuan ba negative kuan sa kuan kinisian which is means niya kay simultaneous increase in inflation and stagnation of economic output so it means ani kay pagtaas og kana mga presyo sa mga products so according to in Friedrich Hayek and Milton Friedman so the cost of inflation is by increasing demand for goods without necessarily increasing supply so mao ko to ang main reason ko no nga no nag cause ang inflation ko no so in 1990 so because of this in 1995 in washington consensus they made a world trade organization or wto so it recommended wto is recommended structural reforms that increase the role of market force in exchange for an immediate financial help thus it means um, Neoliberalism is a political approach that favors true market capitalism, regulation, and reduction in government spending. So, the global crisis and the challenge to the neoliberalism. So, first, the sudden release of price and currency controls of neoliberalism, which is the 2008-2009. So, when I first global crisis, sakoan neo or challenges on neoliberalism. Second is that they came under significant strain during the global financial financial crisis. So na 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 kwanza zila na na ka problema sa zila sa financial which is wato ganin na. So ang second is global crisis is on 2000. Bad investment of cheap housing loans in America has begun building house that were beyond their financial capacity so money siya katong great depression money siya katong napa-invest sila o goan which is cheap which is dili abot sa ilang financial capacities so in 2007 home prices stopped increasing as supply ca caught up with demand thus it slowly become apparent that families could not pay their loans so din sila kabayad silang loan so and on September 2008 investment banks like Leham Brothers collapse so na collapse na ilang mga ang ilang banko so on 2007 to 2008 Iceland another coin global crisis on 2007 2008 Iceland bank heavily depends on foreign capital so when crisis hit them they failed to finance their loans so money is here. So money share my examples of one. So because of this, three Iceland top commercial banks failed to repay alone alone. So 
the economic globalization today. So economic globalization today has two types of economy, which is the liberalization and protectionism. And because of percent of global exports had gone down, the WTO led reduction of trade barriers known as trade liberalization. And also, katong sa types of economy, which is the protectionism, which is restrict international trade to help do domestic and, and uh, domestic industries. So an example lang is Japan. Japan. So on Japan, kay once the diligence lang mo exports ilang rice, which is na protect yun sila sa ilang kwan. Sa ilang rice yung next is the U.S., which is the sugar industry. This leads to trade imbalances, thus relation between developed and developing countries. So now they are beneficiaries of global commerce, which is that the SC or transnational uh, transnational corporations. So many say mga beneficiaries of global commerce. So and they also concern with more profits. Next is in conclusion. So in conclusion, international economic integration is central tenant of globalization. Thus, globalization is anchored on changes in the economy. The globalization of politics is likes, likewise largely contingent on trade relations. International policies makers should strive to think the ways to make trading and deals fairer. Government must continue to ways of cautioning the most damaging effects of economic globalization while ensuring that its benefits are cured. For everyone, so Maroto, sir. Thank you, Neil, for a very good presentation, uh, very comprehensive. Um, anyone who watches this is able to understand in a in a very short span of time what economic globalization is and how it affected everyone in the past um sure. those of questions can raise them what about the second reporter Tatoy? is he here yes, sir Tatoy. Uh -huh. nah, sir. Kawal, sir. Uh, so both of you are doing this yes or... sir okay. 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 Um, you are you are doing the history of of economic globalization way back Silk Road. What do you think is the impact of all of these things in globalizing the economy? What will be the impact of this ideology to the present condition that we have right now, especially that we have pandemic? I think, sir, ang um, economic answer, economic globalization, kay mo siya, mo siya nag-open sa or globalize sa kanang uban nga part, uh, types of globalization, sir, which is cultural, which is, for example, kanang cultural, which is na-adapt na to sa uban, niya, mutan out ang kuha nila, which is tan out ang, like foods, like movies, like we adapt everything kanang globalize, or marag money ang First, uh, step to answer globalization. Mm -hmm. yeah, I understand, but you are just trying to discuss what other types of globalization and aspects that it resulted to. Our question is: On the impact on economic globalization, especially now that we are experiencing this health crisis, the pandemic. One, sir. Uh, for example, sir, kay kanang we can borrow sa IMF, sir. Through kanang kwan, sir. We can borrow to IMF kay crisis man sa health. So, pwede tamo ulam o kwarta sa IMF, which is naka-benefits ta kay wala man tayo kwan. 
Ya, glisod ang country, sir, ba? Ya. Mano, sir, so, dako kayo ang kuan, sir, dako, ikabang ang ang karang gihimo nga policies sa kuan, sir, ba? Di malugi ang sa ka, kuan, sir, country or maka-stand pa dito siya, sir. Sakto ba, sir? Possibly, yeah. Correct. Um, I like the point that you raised about borrowing money from uh, the perspective of, of, of a, develop, a developing country like ours, no? Uh, because you're thinking of Philippines. Pero you have to look into the global concept context as well. We're not just talking about Philippines and the uh, underdeveloped or developing countries. Diba? Okay. It's not just borrowing money. You get my point? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So aside from borrowing money, what do you think is the impact of this economic globalization that people are trying to push through in the advent or in the context of the present situation that we have? You are correct. We can borrow money, but that is just a very um, how do you say that? A, a, a very regionalistic way of looking at that. Okay, we are develop, we are underdeveloped. Oh, we are developing country, third world country. Of course, you're thinking of borrowing money to solve crisis. Or even that, that is not the case right now, diba? We are trying to to be self sufficient, can it? In, we can trade other cancer, other countries, or which is at all. Uh, right, which is katong, for example, katong kwan, liberalization, which is ang, which is katong NAFTA, sir, which is mga kwan sila, mga benefit sila sa, which is ang Canada, sa toto. So, mga benefit sila sa ilahang kwan, sir. Yeah. So, tax, sir. Okay. okay, give me scenario of what is happening to the economy karon with the pandemic. Number one, I'll give you a scenario. People don't go to other countries anymore. So it's, it's directly affecting tourism. Uh, oh, yes, sir. Of course, kung mag-transfer to goods, there is this stigma. Kanabang murag, uy, naayal COVID. It's from this country na naigdagang COVID. Diba? You see the point? Kay yes, sir. Kaya mong mga goods, ana. It's affecting tourism. It's affecting delivery of goods. Even transnational corporations. Can you give me an example of a TNC? International corporation that operates in many countries. Monet TNC. Neil or Dexter? Oh, ah. Next, sir. Uh, Neil, do you have an example of a Wala, sir. Oh, tama Wala, sir. Wala? Pusugay ka mo yun ng kapiha? Ganang kay kamukaon, ano nga? Anyone who can give? Anyone in the room who can give? Uh, Nescafe, sir. Ano saan? Nescafe. Ha? Ano siya? Nescafe. 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 Anyone in the room who can give me an example of a, a TNC, a transnational corporation? Hello, McDonald's, yeah. Coke, sir. McDonald's. McDonald's is a TNC. Okay. Yeah. Operating in how many countries? And it even changes culture. Panawa ang resulta sa McDonald's. Introducing their own culture, introducing their own products that change the entire expression of human being. No, so it's called Americanization because that's U.S. Instead of eating rice, so you better eat more. I know hamburger. 
Neil, you've been saying about GAT. GAT has yes. been changed to what organization now? Trade block, sir. Oh. Okay. Um, you are partially correct when you say it's a it's a really a trade block. Pero what is the what is the the name of GAT now? General Agreement on Tariff and Trade. Historical Ramagdukeka, you feel to mention that does not exist anymore. Okay. Yeah. Him. What, yes, is the, what is the new name of God now? Hola, you go ahead. Hola. Oh, yeah, you just tap three. Anybody in the house? Anybody in the room? WTO, sir. Very good. Kita sama tiga surti WTO. Insa Allah. Aku sir. Si. Ini. Emer. Oh Emer. Emer is right. It's called now the World Trade Organization. What is the function of WTO Emer? Jika now will not ask Emer. So Neil, thank you very much. I, I think there are questions coming from your classmates. Uh, uh, Atong na, pangutan na, exempted sa exam after this. Sige, pangutan na lang. Exempted sa quiz. O oh, Neil, kana kumang na ang question sa... Exempted exempted from the quiz. Go. No. Interpolation na. <laughs> si Morix. Ah, wala, wala audio si Morix. Wala video. Ah, Morix was asking Sobrio, what are the functions of uh, Dili na tamo gamit og GAT. Morix, can you rephrase your question? Because GAT is no longer ex in existence. Okay. Although, in, in, in studying globalization, in studying the world, the contemporary world, we touch base on history, pero you have to contextualize it in the present condition that we have, in the present times. Anyways, on WTO has the same function with that. So considering the question, oh, oh okay, sige, sige more. Right. So rephrase your question so we can throw it on. We can we can give it a second. Okay, para exempted sa quiz. Wana. Ayan. Open your camera, Bonita, and then you ask question. Para exempted sa quiz. Neil, can you open your camera there? Okay. Neil, can you open your camera, Mr. Sobrio? This side, guys, sir. This side, okay. Neil, can you hear? Sorry, sorry. Oh, I don't know, sir. Okay, go. Start. Emer. Sorry, sir. 
Last question. Ay, ayan. Kasi yung nakalaya ni Igat, ni WT, okay? Paano siya ka na? Murag, upgrade siya. Murag, gilisan siya pangan, pero ang function niya kay parihara. So, para makareduce ang tariffs niya, para maka hindrance, para mawagtang ang mga, para makakuan, maukia ang mga free trade. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Marajad ko ang version ni Gat. Marajad ang update version. Sige, ito lang ako, ito lang ako. Andan din ako. Hmm? Neil is correct. Um, however, the WTO is now concentrating not just on the reducing tariff, but more on settling the disputes. Kanang away sa isipan as to ang economic economic uh, policies. Another question. Okay, one na exam si Gunita. Sunod. Um, oh, sir. Go, Mylon. Go. Uh, why? Is the WTO is so important? Ah, very good question. <laughs> I mean, so, I mean, let's not say answer that what one. Can you say, or what can you say about WTO? Kana, ano importante kaya siya ba? Or is it necessary nga dili lang dili lang mo join ang Philippines ana or kinang lang yun ta ng saling sa WTO? <laughs> So I think on um, WTO is important because, as I said earlier, it's reduction. Uh, it reduces the trade barriers. So, which is now the trade liberalization. Yeah, it is also help uh, the economy. So para ma ang uh, mga away or uh, sa mga ubang nasod kay Marisol Verda yun. So, so I think kung kailangan tamo operate sa kanang Fun. sa WTO okay. we are developing countries man yeah. I think we we must kana fun cooperate kung sa netabo sa tong kan atong palibot <laughs> so ngano talaga sir thank you Neil Marilyn you you have additional information or you want to expand mm, I think it says I know you have I know you have ideas. Okay, go ahead. Uh, because WTO, uh, and, um, they give ground rules about trading, sir. Okay. And it's on the uh, members of the WTO, sir, especially like members of what? Members, other nations, sir. Ba? Members okay. of WTO. Okay, particularly the United Nations. Yes. Mm. Para smooth ang trading niya, freely resource. Mm. Oh, that's it. Mm. Very good, very good insight. Um, actually, si Neil nagdiskut ng World War Two. Tapo ni lang. One sir, one. Yeah. World Two, War One. World War One. Yes, yeah, sir. That was around nineteen. One sir, nineteen. Nahuman siya, 19 on sa man. Oh, yeah. Sakto. 1914 to 1918? Upat na siya nakatawig ang World War I, if I'm not mistaken. Did you mention about World War II? Narao? 1947, after the World War. The bottom part, which is a bullet number four, talks about God. And it's purpose to reduce tariff and other hindrances to free trade. Um, Neil was right when he mentioned about the World War II, and Nylon is also right when he mentioned about disputes. Of course, after the World War II, what was the practice of nations, rich nations, developed countries, so that they can protect their own product? They adopted the protectionism. Yes, sir. The type of trade is actually mercantilism. So with free trade, capital trading, people are able to exchange their goods. 
Why? Because in some countries, they're already going hungry and they're dependent on other countries. Without this WTO, possibly man and Japan will not really share their products to other countries. And they become protectionist. So with that, with that it was able. They were able to, to succeed in this particular area of, of free trade and even reducing tariffs, which is until now benefiting other countries, kay pwede mata labor cost, pwede mata o tanang sudlan o other com companies diri with, with, with in investing in our country. And we can always receive an import and export goods. So kung may problema, like katong nag-isagot man si Neil ganiya of NAFTA, which is North American. So nang NAFTA, Neil? North American. Free trade, uh, uh, which is North between, American. Between what countries? Canada. Canada. Mexico. Mexico. And. Yes. USA. USA. Yes, sir. Of course, when you want cheap labor costs, you go to Mexico. If you want dairy products, you go to Canada. But of course, if there's a free flow in exchange of these countries, and then there is a there there are agreements among them, mas better siya ang ang trading nila, ha? Better siya trading nila. Now, may dispute. Kani reklamo man ang Mexico nga o yung ano yung labor cost pati mong baratuhan. Then WTO kan kami. Uy, nagipa sobraan man eh. Remember the World War II? Ang mga, ang mga tao, grabe yung patrabaho. Notice yung dana na itong mga, mga employees that are being abused. Eh, bisag wala, wala na yung overtime pay. Kanya, magbaro the entire day. So, this, this, this malpractices of companies offshoring in other countries had helped in stabilizing the, the problems and issues in terms of labor and in terms of product. Wala pa WTO siguro, dili na nakasun yung order sa Shopee from China and other countries. Or, atong, apil mo ganyan atong sapatos na hapon? That's right. Sino ngita mong Adidas? Other questions, please? Ako, sir. Yeah, more X go. You know the ang uh, ang got the ah delete delete so kan WTO. So it because of katong na tabo ng ako an na crisis nito. At wala kaya ba on sa tong specific crisis, but they himo nila ang kuan para ma protektahan ang kuan kanang para dili magaway-away ang mga kuan mga ubang nation ba so they protect it so WTO WTO so sorry change ito pan WTO are you happy mo Rex are you happy with the answer mo Rex so, nagsulti naman si Neil Galihira nga, upgraded naman siya mo, Rex. It, it was not actually a big deal. Mas daghal ang coverage ang um, WTO karon, Including, I think, intellectual property rights. Protecting it. So, na, common naman good. It's only trade lang. Ano. So, change it its name para usag na po. Branding. Branding na siya doon, ang tawag na. Uh, uh, diba, ang, ang, ang ABCB, ano, sa may tawag na karon, Kapamilya Channel. But same uh, thing. Oh, di ba? Pero hindi ka pamilya sa channel ko. So, ah, bago na. Bago na yan. Oh, bago nga. Same banana. Okay. Same mati. One more question. One last question. <laughs> One last question, guys. Napay mo report after Neil? PLG, sir. Tamo ah. Ready na mo, Morex? Ang buti LJ siya, kartag yata yung nga sir. LJ, ready na? Yes, sir. Oh my God. Confident. <laughs> They're very ready. 3.30 naman, good. Ang iyo sa COVID, next week na lang mo report. Sige, sir. Sige, sir. Tayo una to. 
Sa may klase nyo, kung kay 330 ramang kutom, meron din ba? Ah, wala na sir, mga ganoon. Sir, parang po, sir, sir. Actually, pwede naman mag-report, but I will be on a back on a, on a transit. Huminaw lang ko sa report. Ah, next week na lang, sir. Para kong date lang, sir. Next week na lang, sir. Next week, week na lang. Buti ninyo, ha? Ito yung picture-picture. Sige, sir. Sige, sir. You're very concentrated. You're, you're really concentrated on on GAC and WTO. Among things nga gisulti ni Neil, daghan kito siya points of clarification that you really wanted to, to raise if you want. No, uh, he mentioned of mercantilism. He mentioned the gold standards that based that that was basis of the current the currency system that we have right now. He was also mentioning one of the biggest slump in economics is called the Great Depression, yes, nineteen twenty seven, and it was followed by the recession in two thousand under Bush, President Bush economy. Pero well explained na rin I salute Sobrio for a very comprehensive presentation. Ready na mo exam? So exempted, Mylon, Murex, and Gunida. Exam pa. Uy, exam na ta. Tawag na ta, sir. Anong <laughs> tawag? Tawag na ta. Tawag na ta exam after the report of Alge Comendador. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. So for now, you 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 try to make your presentations better. Um, add some yes. photo to elevate the presentation. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tantingog ni Sobrio, no? Mura o kanang commentator sa radyo. Ato yan, ako ni si Byron, Neil. Ah, sorry. Sige. Mapay ni last questions, wala na? Studyhin ang handout. I uh, will post this as well. Studyhin ninyo ang presentation for, for the exam. Thank you, guys. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Wala na yung klase? Apa? Ang mag-sida po yun ito. Pag-klase lang sa... Pag-klase lang sa... Gagal. <laughs> <laughs> Anong giyosa ba ng pangan sa WTO? Ay, what? <laughs> okay, nung naanain. Ay, ay, ako dito yung answer. Ay, 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 ay. Ibalik lang question. Ay, ay, ay. Ika na smurik eh. Ganun na rin mo. At tayo ko ano doon. Laing. Laing, laing, laing. O yan daw, okay pa ako sa TNC. TNC na ako. At least, di chat mo ko ni Monil. O lang yung kita, sir. Nag-present ko ganun. Ha, 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 ha. Patay juga. Bye bye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. My God. Bye. Sorry. My God.